Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Richard Schneeman or at Schneems on the internet. Today I am here to talk to you about HStore inside of Postgres. HStore is a schemaless key value pair very similar to a, uh, a hash inside of Ruby and we can use it natively inside of Rails 4. If you're interested in using it before then, we can actually utilize an HStore gem, which I will put in the show notes. And um, we can you can see how you can use that right here. So I've created an example application, and that example application has a product table, which has a data column with an HStore type. If I pull out one of those, here you can see I have uh, the Hunger Games as a product I've created and it has some uh, custom attributes, uh, type of a book, and author of uh, Suzanne Collins. So whenever I get that data, it is returned to me exactly, um, it's returned to me as a hash, and I can use it as a hash. So this is very similar to a functionality you might have seen before called a serialize. Previously, if we wanted to store a hash inside of our database, we could serialize it. Um, this is an alternative to that uh, that provides us much greater speed in terms of querying. Um, because HStore is a native data type, we can query it using Postgres's um, capabilities. So let's take a look. Maybe we want to pull all of the products that have a given key in um, our data column. So maybe we want all of our products that have a key of author. So let's go ahead and get that. So there we go. Um, we've got four different products that have author as a key. We can also do uh, queries based on other things, not just key. Uh, we can look for values. We can look for key and value pairs. We can also use like. We can use not. Any any way you can query a regular column, you can query your keys or your values inside of this H door. So it does make things very, very flexible, and it's a great way where if you're, you're starting with a project and you don't know the exact schema you want, then you can just kind of have this in there um, and it can give you a lot of flexibility. So we can have different products that are books, but we can also have other products that have other attributes like CDs or um, computer equipment. If you're interested in checking this out for yourself, uh, you can go to hstoredemo.herokuapp.com. I have created an example application that is running on uh, one of uh, Heroku's Postgres instances. Um, I do want to point out that this is a relatively recent feature of Postgres, so um, locally, on if you're trying to do this on your own machine, you will have to have a fairly uh, recent copy of Postgres, or you might need to upgrade it. Once you have done that, um, you can follow the show notes uh, and see how to add the HStore extension onto your own uh, copy of Postgres. So, uh, and once you've done that, you can come over to HStore Demo and uh, you can fork it and run a copy locally on your own machine. So uh, in this demo, you sign in as a user and then that user is allowed to create um, different products. And we can go ahead and see that I have already created a number of products that have, um, expand that out a little bit. Oh, there we go. Uh, you can see that those products are vary in type as well as attributes. So, the, you know, I have got uh, some books, I've got um, a laptop, I've got, uh, you know, a, a CD, a single by, uh, you know, rather famous artist. And we can go ahead and use this um, demo that I've put together to query things. So if we wanted to, just previously where we were pulling out uh, keys that had a certain value, um, <clears throat> I can pull out, uh, let's see, everything that's got a price. And then when we run that, you can see here that we get, I'm going to resize that back, um, we get all of our results returned to us in uh, JSON. And I will point out that this is a global query. It is not just your own um, products. 
but uh, you can certainly query for your for your own items. Uh, we can also easily add attributes. So we might want to put in the number of pages. Uh, I don't have the book right in front of me. Let's just say it's 200. And then just save. Uh, there you go. You see we have uh, pages. So again, definitely give this a shot. HStore is a very, very cool functionality only available inside of uh, Postgres. Um, the URL you can get the example is hstoredemo.com herokuapp.com. From there, you have a link to the source, as well as inside of the source, I'm going to put some, some notes on how to get this actually up and running on your local machine. Thank you very much for tuning in. Again, my name is Richard Schneeman. Have a great day.